the Romani people, or as they are commonly known as the Gypsy people, live in Europe, the Middle East, and Egypt. They say the Romani people migrated about 1,500 years ago from India to Iran, then to Turkey, and spread throughout the Middle East, Europe, and Egypt. They were under the slave trade for 500 years, but they were able to preserve their language and culture, though they also speak their host country's language. When the word Romani is mentioned, people first think of the country Romania, the Roma Empire, or the Italian city Rome. But there is one more place where the word Romani or Rome is mentioned, and that is the Hebrew Bible. Therefore, I am raising the question, are the Romani people one of the lost tribes of Israel? Because the word Ram or Ram is first mentioned on the Hebrew Bible on Genesis 121 and 124, which seems to be name of a desert area where life or seedling sprouted out. Then on Genesis 10.7, it appears as a name of Cush's son, Ramach or Ramha, who begat Sheba. Then on the book of 1 Chronicles 2.9, it appears as the names of one of Hezron's son, Ram or Ram, an ancestor of King David, and name of Hezron's grandson by his other son, Jeremiel, or Yerham Allah, who married an Ethiopian wife, Onam, or Azeraha, and became king of Ethiopia. There are about seven areas that have a close-sounding name to the Hebrew word Ram, or Ram. The first one is Ramallah, located in Palestine. Ramach in Lebanon, Ramach in Yemen, the Roma Empire with its center in Rome, Italy, the country Romania, and finally Rema and Rama in North Ethiopia in three different locations. Scholars say Ramach of Lebanon was established since 2750 BC. The biblical Ra'amach, son of Cush in Yemen, was established since 2513 BC. The Roma Empire is dated to have been established in 753 BC. Ramallah of Palestine was founded in 1550 AD. The country Romania was named as such in 1877 AD but the name was attested in 1521 AD, while the three areas found in Ethiopia, Rema and Turamas, located in south and north from the ancient city of Yeha, respectively, but there is no record whether they are ancient area or not. Curiously, King David identified himself as Ram or Rame, but it is not clear whether he means as a name of his ancestor Ram or as a name of a people. The genetic makeup of the Romani people of the Y chromosome shows 60% haplogroup H, which originated in South Asia or West Asia, and 30% haplogroup E, which originated in East Africa, West Africa, or Euro-Asia. Therefore, where did the Indian haplogroup H and the African haplogroup E meet to create the now Romani people? Both the haplogroups have to migrate to the Middle East or Europe in order to create the now mixed Romani. Therefore, are or were the Romani people persecuted because they were Jews or because they were blacks? Because 
they could only have come the 30 percent haplogroup e could only have come from kush's son ramah or ramha who be who begat uh, shiva or uh, uh, they could have only come from hezron from hezron's grandson by his son uh, by his other son, Jeremiel or Yeraham Alle, who married an Ethiopian wife. Uh, Hezron is a descendant of Judah, therefore he is Jew. Uh, this shows that it is either because uh, they were, uh, it's because they were black, uh, because they are Kush, or because they are Jew, because they are ancestor of Judah, that is Hezron's grandson. So what do you think? Please comment, subscribe and share.